Michael Vandegrift, MCV Realty Group. Just to help our team grow and help our clients so much better, you know, in this. You know. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Vandergrift, uh, back again. Took a couple weeks off. Um, you know, I had, I know anyone who knows me personally, I had shingles first, you know, starting like June 10th. Then a couple weeks later, I got COVID. So had COVID for about eight, nine days. Um, so I missed the last couple um, videos. I still did the market update, still did my numbers at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, um, but I wasn't able to record a video because that first Wednesday, I was, it was a day two of COVID and, uh, that was pretty rough. So COVID is back around. Um, had a couple clients, uh, cancel appointments this week due to having COVID. So it's back out and out there. So everybody be careful. Um, be cautious. Um, take precautions for that because there's another round going back around, I think. Um, but let's get to the housing market. Um, really big news in the news today, and this isn't in my report, but inflation came in higher than expected at 9.1. Um, hopefully we pe peaked on inflation. Um, and we've known about this. So some of it has been built into the interest rates. Um, but we're expecting the Fed. I think they meet again here in a few days. Um, and we expect them to raise interest rates again, the overnight rate, um, for banks which does influence overall interest rates. Um, how much of a hit that'll be to mortgage rates, we don't know. Um, I foresee mortgage rates getting to 7 or 8%. Um, the 3% days are gone. Just forget about it. Money's just, cheap money is over. Um, that is, that is, we'll probably never see those again in our lifetime, um, to be honest. So, but everything revolves around interest rates and inflation. Um, you're going to see rents start to hike up over the next year or two, too, because you got to remember the cost of money, you know, the, the people, landlords are going to be affected by these same money rates. So everybody's going to be felt by it. Um, today, I want to cover a little bit of, you know, how I come up and how I came up with, I've been doing this market report for a while now. I do it every Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. Um, it's a Three Rivers market report. And the overall numbers we pull um, from the meme that we send out are from Allen County and the county surrounding. So Adams, Allen, DeKalb, Huntington, Noble, Wells, Whitley. Um, but when I dig into the the set the last seven days numbers and the last 12 months, then I'm focusing on just Fort Wayne Metro. So I just want to make sure we were all on the same page on that because some people have had questions about where my numbers come from. That's where they come from, and they're clocked at the same time and the same numbers every time. So I'm getting accurate movements in the numbers. And, you know, we saw uh, current active available homes. We saw increase again um, up to 327. So that's good news. That's good news for everybody because it's just been such an extreme seller's market for so long you know, buyers just struggling, especially if you have government financing, FHA, VA, um, USDA. It's so tough to get a home in this market, you know, because we're seeing so many homes. 20% are sold by cash. 60% are conventional loans. Um, you know, only 9% are FHA and only 4 point, like 2% have been VA. And that's just because conventional and cash is so much more attractive to sellers. And when you're getting into where you've got multiple offer situations because you have such strong buyer demand, you know, you're going to run into that problem. Like right now we're down to about 8.33 buyers per listing now. Um, and when we're seeing some slowing in the market, that's why inventory is starting to pile up a little bit, but not enough to be anything of concern. Um, you can still sell your house. Um, it's getting a little easier on buyers, which is great. I think a more balanced market is going to help everybody. New listings were down about 19. That could have been the holiday effect there. Um, sold were a little bit down. Um, pending were up. Um, we saw median list price, median sale price, and the same thing on average list price and average sale price. Sale price is still going for over listing. Um, it was average was about 5,000 over. Uh, median was about 7,000 over. Um, we saw average days on market in the last seven days really drop down to six. Um, typically, average days on market for the last 12 months is about 12. So that's that's a significant drop. That's probably one of the lowest days on market, average days on market I've seen over this past seven-day period. 
Uh, median days on market was three, which is the same as the last 12 months. Um, average home price right now, last seven days, I believe it was 224,000. We're sitting somewhere we hover in about 230, 240,000 over the last 12 months um, on average home price in the Fort Wayne metro area. Um, lowest home sold that $2,000 on 1707 High Street finally fell off the 12 month. So the lowest home sold in the last 12 months is now 18,500. Highest home sold in the last 12 months, 1,999,000. Last seven days, lowest home sold price was 59,000. Highest home sold price was 520,000. Um, so if you're looking for something, even an investor special, you're looking at 60 grand plus right now in this market and that, that's what i'd say about it is i'd say a move-in ready home you're looking probably minimum 110 120 000, um in our market even if you expand out rural areas sometimes you can get a little lower than you can in the city um the further away you go from jobs typically lower housing prices are housing prices have a big effect on housing prices is your employment and employment um percentage um lower your un the lower your unemployment higher your home values typically because people typically want to live close to their jobs close to their jobs and family it's what we see a lot of times um so we're still way short of six months balanced inventory um and that's why we've got current buyers per uh listing about 8.33 so we still got strong demand but like i always tell all my clients you know you've got to do what's right for you when it's right for you um, the market's always going to move. It's always going to be doing something. Interest rates are always going to move, you know, and whether you need to move or not is on you, whether something's changed in your life. Um, can't do stairs anymore, need to downsize. Kids moved out. You got too much space or you have kids and need more space. So, you know, if you have any questions, concerns or anything, feel free to reach out to me about anything. Be glad to help you out and everyone have a great day. Grace and peace.